So, um, that sounded really fake, but that's okay. Uh, I am putting a game face on because I had surgery. It is November 3rd right now. Sorry, November 2nd of 2022. And I just had surgery yesterday on my clawed toes. Um, it's a little bit different than a hammer toe. So usually a hammer toe is like this, but a clawed toe is a little bit more with two knuckles rather than one. Um, I'm going to show you what it looks like right now after surgery. If you're a little squeamish, it is wrapped, but there is a pin sticking out of my toe just to fair warn you. This is what it's looking like. This is ice and it's wrapped right now. I do have a surgical shoe, but it's just not on right now. Um, Aria has been keeping me company. This is my mom's cat. I'm in my mom's house right now. Aria. Hi, you're so pretty. Um, her boyfriend just brought some breakfast over and my grandma came over, my mom's friend came over. I have gotten surgeries before, but my mom was saying that this one made her a little bit more nervous because it involves bone and hardware, which I've never really had that type of surgery before. And they did end up having a general, look at Henry, general anesthesia me and possibly intubate me. They didn't have to intubate me, but my mom was nervous about the anesthesia. So she had a little bit of anxiety. So I'll let her talk about that. But overall, excuse me, overall, I'm doing pretty good. Um, the dressing feels like it's wrapped a little too tight. So, um, you know, as you're healing, you're supposed to elevate your foot, elevate your leg, all that stuff. And I sit like, you know, for 20 or 10 minutes every hour. But it just feels like the dressing is too tight. So my circulation is being cut off a bit because the nerve block already wore off. But um, I can definitely tell that this is going to be the right decision for me um, because I was having a lot of pain. My toenails were coming off. Hammer toes and clawed toes are not fun. So what they did is every um, every toe except for my big toe, so the four digits, they ended up cutting the releasing the tension in the tendons so they could kind of, instead of going like this, they would go like that. And they also put a pin in one to like keep it straight. Um, but yeah, so I'm not sure what they look like. I haven't seen them. But today, this afternoon, I'm going into the office earlier to see my surgeon so I can get the dressings changed and get the dressings looked at. Because like I said, they're a little too tight right now. But um, yeah, Aria's just keeping me some company. My mom is, that's my plant that I got as a gift, a prayer plant. My mom's outside um, getting rid of some recyclings and stuff. But yeah, uh, so far I'm doing okay. I'm taking the pain meds. I'm hoping that I can shower today if the dressings get changed, but we'll see. Also, my lips look a little blue. I don't know why. I'm well, not blue, just like a little discolored. Not too sure. But yeah, I'll check in with you later. Porters. Hey, mom, guess what I'm watching? What you watching? Porters. What? Porters. Ooh. How many hot dogs can you eat? You're Nathan's. One or two? Uh, two, one and a half. Two. What? Like two. Um, no, but I'll make sure and go through the laundry. Then I, I don't know if I even washed it. Oh, then it's being washed. Okay, I won't dry it. Which one is it? Like a dry fit? What color is it? Like no, black? It's the one I, it's my sweaty, like the oh, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. But Alexa, like volume seven. Alexa, how do you take care of a prayer plant? Here's what I found. Care for a prayer plant by placing it in bright, indirect sunlight and well drained soils. Keep the prayer plant moist. Kaya prefers to watch her brothers on the sidelines over there what are you doing Sadly. what are we doing Hanging out. watching watching wild animal babies i think that's what it's called something like that yeah but he's, he looks so we just had lunch he looks so cute doesn't he look so cute he's so snuggly we just had truffle mac and cheese with some broccoli and 100% all beef hot dogs fried up with my truffle mac and cheese is how we do it. It was good, thank you. You're welcome. Baby, he's so happy. He is, he looks yeah. so happy. I love you guys. Love you. Friends and Zoe. Um, I got my nose piercing back in. When mom uh, moved me to get up for the bathroom, she found the piercing. Um, I had a little bit of a sponge bath. I know, so weird, but I had to do it. Um, I'm watching TV on my laptop right now. Mom just went for a quick walk because she has an, a phone call to do. And then um, I'll show you what I mean. But basically, uh, I'll explain real quick. I think I said earlier that I was going to go back to my surgeon today. 
but he just called and said that it was a little too soon to be seen and to just remove the bandage, like the first layer of the bandage, because it was probably just too tight because of the swelling. But I'll show you what I'm talking about. Battle Babies is the show we were watching. And this is basically my foot right now. That's the pin. This is what it looks like underneath. All that orange is the iodine they use to um, sanitize or like disinfect your foot before surgery or any part of your body before surgery. And it doesn't look too swollen, to be honest. Um, underneath is probably pretty swollen, thus all the wrapping and stuff. But it does feel like I can breathe, like my foot can breathe a little better like this. So I'm definitely um, glad that he called so I don't have to like drag my butt into the appointment if I don't need to. They have really good cust customer service. They have really good patient care there, so I'm very glad. Right now it's um, almost 2.30 and it's the second day after surgery, November 2nd, like I said. And yeah, I'm just taking this video to kind of show you through the process. Right now the pain is not too bad because I did take a pain med, so I'm a little, um, not like light in the head, like high or anything but i definitely feel the pain med working which is what we want obviously i also took a zofran and some tylenol and i definitely recommend keeping up with the pain meds the first couple of days even if you're like oh i can toughen it out before you know it you can't toughen it out and then it's hard to like keep track of the pain and stay on top of it which is what i've had to learn through my breast reduction and everything so definitely you know don't be afraid to ask for help don't be afraid to take pain meds um, I was a little afraid too because addiction tendencies run, run on one, one side of my family. So I was a little nervous to be honest, but it's not a big deal. Just be aware, take your meds and, you know, ask your family, your friends, your partners for help if you need it. And, um, yeah, my mom set me up in this little recliner that I'm actually going to take home with me because she doesn't want it. So we're going to do that another day, but, um, yeah, definitely. Um, I'm just chilling. And I got my anglerfish, I think that's what it's called. I forget his name, my squishmallow. But yeah, I'm just hanging out and uh, I'll talk to you later. <laughs> I am back home in my bed, he's doing my laundry. But I'm just waiting for Pat to come over. I went to CVS to pick up a couple of things for my mom. She tucked me in, she took good care of me these past couple of days. So tonight's my first day home alone. So I'm just gonna like see how I do. My roommate's here of course, but I'm in my apartment. And, um, yeah, watching quarters. It's a crazy episode, so, yeah, we'll see. Also, this mascara is amazing. Love it. I'll check in soon. Bye. It's like 7 o'clock, 7.30 at night, so we'll see when he gets here. Hey. Hello. Patrick. Hello again. The boy. We're watching Never Ending Story. Well, barely. Barely watching it. I'm trying We're to make sure Zoe's feeling yeah. better. Yeah. Is that allowed on YouTube? Now it is. Yeah. Um, but yeah, today was a good day. Um, I didn't end up having to see the surgeon, which was good. Um, he called to check in, which was pretty neat. I don't think I've had a surgeon do that, like, personally. Like, just call and check in. So um, high on drugs, though, so maybe it never happened. Maybe it never happened. I don't know. Maybe I'm just making everything up. Just oh, kidding. Illusion. Um, but yeah, uh, I'm in some pain, but it's not, like I said earlier, it's not as bad as I expected it to be, to be honest. I think maybe I was a little more freaked out than I needed to be, but, um, we'll also see what tomorrow brings. It could be a whole different ballpark, but yeah, that's, that's how my night's going. My roommate, my roommate made, um, collard greens and, uh, pulled pork. pork. Yes. Uh, yeah. Wow, I can't talk. Um, but that was good, and that was nice of her. So, I feel like I can stay home tonight. That was the worry that I wouldn't be able to, and that I would need to call my mom, but I think I'll be good. Because I got Pat here, too. Hi, Pat. That's just, like, my nose in the shot. But, I'll talk to you soon. Look at this mystery hand. Where did this mystery hand come from? <laughs>